Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after the Windows 10 and Windows 11 April Patch Tuesday security update that rolled out, there was a empty iNet pub folder, as I posted on, that was spotted by many. That was spotted after the update on the installation drive of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And for most users, that would be the C drive. And because it looks suspicious, many, including myself, deleted it. Now, since posting a couple of videos regarding that, as you can see, I have the folder back because I have since um, set up a new Windows 10 device, which included the RNET pub folder automatically. And this has been quite a saga because after many deleted it, Microsoft then confirmed that the folder was not malicious and is part of a security fix for CVE 2025-2124, which was listed as a privilege escalation vulnerability and must not be deleted. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. And then the reason I say this is a saga because after Microsoft confirmed that the folder must not be deleted and was part of a security patch, some security researchers found out that this could help bad actors to block future security updates. I've also posted on that. The video will be linked as well. So this has been quite an ongoing saga. Now, an easy way to get the folder back would be just to head to your control panel. If you don't know where control panel is, just do a search accordingly. Head over to programs and features, turn Windows features on off, and just clicking on Internet Information Services. And then obviously you would just follow the prompts, click on OK, follow the prompts, restart your device, and that would replace the folder. But unfortunately, with this method, it also creates additional folders which are not required unless you're a developer and obviously it caused a bit of clutter and unnecessary folders on devices. So a lot of users just avoided this um, method of bringing back the RNET pub folder or restoring the RNET pub folder. Now, because of this and because Microsoft is still adamant that the folder must not be deleted, Microsoft now has released a PowerShell script to restore the folder if you have deleted it. And if we just head over to that website, this is the script. I'll leave this linked down below in the description if you'd like to go ahead. And it says, this script sets the security permissions on the directory rnet pub. The script is designed to be run as an administrator. So just take note, you must run as admin, else obviously this will not work. It says that if rnet pub directory does not exist, it gets created and default RSS permissions are applied to the directory. If an empty RNET pub directory exists, the default RSS permissions are applied to the directory. If RNET pub directory exists and only contains a subdirectory, device health attestation, default RSS permissions are applied to both directories. And it says, if RNET pub directory exists and contains any subdirectories, the script exists without making any changes. So if you want to restore the RNET pub folder, maybe you've deleted it and you want to follow Microsoft's recommendation, then as mentioned, this script will be in the description that you can run using PowerShell as admin. Now just on a side note for the purpose of this video, as you can see, I'm leaving the RNET pub folder on my Windows 10 device and as mentioned, I have removed it from my Windows 11 device and I'm going to keep it that way for the purpose of this channel because I'm not noticing any difference although Microsoft is insisting you must not delete this folder and if you have you can use the PowerShell script as mentioned to restore this folder so if I get any more news or I notice a change without the folder or with the folder obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop but that's the latest Microsoft says you must not delete the RNET pub folder for what it's worth. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.